Hounded by the army and pushed from their traditional lands, the Apaches hid out in the high mountains of northern Arizona and scratched out a meager existence. And naturally distrusted us whites. My brother's cold and angry dispositions didn't help any. Ray didn't like the way the young braves looked at Marissa. He was restless and on edge, and I was afraid that at any moment he might blow. I wanted to go before there was bloodshed, but seeing Farther wanted to speak to us alone. About what, I wasn't sure, but I suspected that none of it would come to any good. I know why you're here, and what you want. The medallion. I can help you. Why would you want to help us get the medallion? My father wants to use it to buy weapons for a war against the White Eyes. What will the fate of our people be if he succeeds? The Apache will be no more. So you just gonna go fetch it for us? No. But I will show you where it is. You don't have the medallion here? The medallion is cursed. As I have told you before, our ancestors took it from a Mexican priest in return for his life. Soon after, a great sickness ravaged our village. Many died. One of the survivors traded it to the Navajo for food, and the Navajo too were ravaged by sickness. Their medicine man saw that the medallion had dark power. He drowned it in a lake high in the mountains. His people guard it to this day. So, Running River was trading a medallion he didn't even have? He intended to show you its resting place. He hoped it would bring bad medicine to you as well. And in the process, bring hell down on the Navajo? We are sworn enemies. <laughs> well, that's pretty cagey. Two dead enemies for the price of one. How do we know you're not sending us to die in those mountains, too? Because I am going with you. For without my help, you would not find it. Partner, I hope you're not bullshitting us. Because if this is some lying Apache trick, it'll be the last one you ever pull. I hate boats. I hate water. Would you stop your whining? Jesus. The fact you hate water is pretty damn obvious. You smell like the inside of an old boot. It, like you smell any better. You both smell bad. Your stink almost covered up the smoke. Smoke? Where? Here. Everywhere. We're in Navajo territory. The village has to be close. Hey, you didn't say nothing? What were you waiting for? An arrow in the back? The Navajo have mainly rifles now. What? If the village is close, we will see some lookouts. Watch the shore. Here they are, on the left-hand side. Do not let anyone get away or they will tell the village we are here. Here they are. Kill them all! Shoot them down! Take them out! Bastard was mine. Is that all of them? That's all, I guess. Tell me, Chief. So that medallion's on the bottom of the lake? Yes. Somewhere high in the mountains. Oh, great. So, why are we going to the village? We go where the spirit of the Grey Coyote leads us. Spirit of the what? There. Well, son of a bitch. Are you telling me that we are being led by a damn dog? The Grey Coyote, the spirit of my great-grandfather, who sold the medallion to the Navajo. He wants us to go through the village.
this way. Now keep quiet. Let's go. Nice and quiet. Come and look. Keep close. Only if you are awake. Maybe we can slip through without being seen. Your furry grandpa tell you that? You hear that? It's coming from the mountains. We have to take the path of the dead. Okay, but I don't like the sound of that. It's where the Navajo lay their dead to rest. We'll go through the burial ground, but we must stay silent so as not to awaken any dark spirits. Follow me. Oh, you scared of ghosts, brother. I'm more worried about the live ones. Let me give you a hand up. <laughs> it's too quiet. Wait here. Watch out! Oh, they spotted us. Hurry! We must get to the path of the dead. Where the hell did they all come from? <laughs> Shit, they're surrounding us. Let's move. Follow me. There's more coming. These sons of bitches just keep on a coming. Those rocks, right? Maybe we can drop a couple on their heads. Cover me! Now! Go, go, go! Whoa! Good job. Well, that should hold them for a while. Go on! Now, we have to cross the Navajo burial ground. Cover. They're behind rocks. Let's make those yellow bellies sorry they were ever born. Come on! Let's unload some lead on these pecker heads. Clear the damn holsters. Two's hardly a challenge. On the right. Take cover. Up above. Oof. They're all wasting a lot of bullets.
bastards broke the bridge. What now, Chief? Where'd your grandpa go? Chase down a squirrel? The Grey Coyote showed us the lake and the dam. He's telling us something. Telling us what? We must discover his meaning. Right. In the meantime, let's find another way. Let us get closer to the dam. We can go by way of the riverbed. Lead the way. Dam, the river. He's telling us something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad I don't speak coyote. Oh, there's always something. This tree's barely standing. We'll push it over and make ourselves a bridge. Give me a hand. Nice job pitching in there, brother. As usual. What? Well, come on. You let me do all the pushing. Well, hell, you're the one with the muscles. It's too quiet. From the front! Behind those rocks. It's an ambush. Find some cover. What the hell now? You expect me to climb this? We'll go around this way. This trail leads to the lake. Is that a campfire? Smoke signals. They are warning the other villages. We must hurry before more come. I think they're already here. Get a move on. Fastest thing on you. Now. At least I hit what I'm aiming at. What you waiting for? Move. Get a move on. where the Navajo drowned the medallion. We must swim down to the bottom and find it. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Whose idea is this? Your grandma, the horny toad? I tell you right now, there's no way in hell. How are we even gonna find it? Grey Coyote showed us to the lake and the dam. Dam? Dam? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's just blow this some bitch. If that medallion's down there, we'll find it. Hurry! The Navajo are coming! Let's go. This way.
think I know why the great Ryoji showed us the dam. Show that we can blow it up. I think that's pretty damn clear. No, there is more. You see the shacks? Just like the ones at Devlin's camp. So what? It means that the Navajo didn't build this dam. Not alone, anyway. How about you stop your jawing and blow up the damn dam? I'm getting to it. Navajo! Let's go, brother. Let's go, brother. What are you, crazy? The fuses are already lit. We got one minute to waste them. Half a minute! Go, go, go! The sacred place of the Navajo. That is where the medallion is. Well, let's get what we came here for. Why aren't they attacking us? Get ready, brother. This is a sacred place. They will not shed blood here. Well, hell, if they won't, we will. Soon for me to be taking another bath. Only through the dam will we escape. This is what the great Milton was trying to tell us. There's no other way, right? Come on!
Watch out! Well blocked! Over? We're still alive. And clean as a whistle. They can shoot at me. They can set my damn ass on fire. But I fucking hate water. Well, boy, we owe your great granddaddy a big debt of gratitude. Boy? Great grandfather doesn't want your gratitude. You are like two mad wolves. You've insulted the ancestors of the Navajo and have violated their sacred place. For that, he will surely be punished. So this is what's gonna lead us to the treasure? Hand it over. Why do you get it? You two are not worthy. Your brothers will kill each other over this. It is you who should hold it. I will teach the young shaman its secret. Without his help, you will never find the treasure. What about the woman? We're not leaving without her. I'll lead the woman out. But, you must capture the attention of the Braves guarding her. Wait, how do we do that? <laughs> People will always watch a fight. A fight? Why not? You're both here for the woman. A fight will determine who is the strongest, the most deserving of her affection. What the hell did he mean by that? 